Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new world record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Click the subscribe button to follow our adventure around the world. See you later! It's day number 11! Day 11! <laughs> we did actually say that it was day 11 on the last episode, but it's actually day 10. Uh, today is the real day 11. <laughs> yes. So we had a really peaceful night camping here in this uh, little farm stay place where you can pitch up your tent in this big grass lawn here with our beautiful bumblebee sleeping right next to us. <laughs> But everything is packed up and ready to go. So let me tell you where we're going to go today. Yes. So yesterday we made our way from Compiègne down into the center of Paris, where we saw all those beautiful sights. And then we headed out all the way into the countryside south of Paris here. So today we are going to be continuing our way south through central France, through Tours in the central Val de Loire. And we are ending up right here in the middle of the countryside where we'll be staying with a friend. So we've got about 147 miles to cover, so we better get started. Uh, let's go! Yes! It's exciting because we're driving on grass. <laughs> let's do it! Don't slip. Don't slip. Very careful, very nice and easy and slow. Yes, that looks good. <laughs> it's nice and soft. I like it to drive on grass. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. It, um, oh, look, the sheep are out and about. Out and about, and there's a goose. And so the donkey is over there, Oli. And the donkey. Should we say goodbye to the donkey then? Yes. Hey, okay. Bye, guys. Goodbye, donkey. Bye bye, donkey. Bye, sheep. Bye, goose. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yes. And of course I took <laughs> the wrong <laughs> the wrong way. That's okay, it's, it should be just straight out to the main road and then we're back on. It just put us to 151 miles, but that's okay. So it's 12 degrees. The time is currently 10.30 and we are on the road. Yeah, our night wasn't that good at the end because we had an issue with Ollie's um, sleeping mat <laughs> in the night at like um, one in the morning. The sleeping mat um, deflated because <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> it got a hole and yeah, Ollie had to sleep on the cold ground. It got down to about seven degrees last night and our sleeping bags are not rated really you shouldn't be going like to that low in with our sleeping bags put on my uh, rain rain trouser and rain jacket you slept in everything yeah i, w I was quite happy with it like <laughs> i was actually warm which is a miracle because normally you are always warm and i'm really cold <laughs> i know i know well we'll get the air mattress fixed and then uh should be okay yeah
We have entered the Loire Valley and look, there's a beautiful chateau on the top of the hill. Yeah, it looks magical. Yeah, every single chateau in this region looks like a fairy tale chateau. It does, eh? It does. But it's a famous wine region, of course. Loire Valley wine is famous worldwide. Uh, lots of castles, lots of chateaus, lots of beautiful historical buildings in this region. So it probably won't be the last chateau we see. <laughs> In some countries, they have vending machines for snacks. In France, they have vending machines for baguettes. Let's go get some lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one euro ten. Let's try. Uh -huh. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Whoa! <laughs> it's pretty easy for a life on the road, isn't it? Just stop at the vending machine, grab your baguette, on you go. Cute little Citroen. <laughs> Woo! Le pain et le fromage. <laughs> mm. I love it! Welcome to Saumur in the Loire Valley. La Loire. Little city tour, driving one time around in the center. Yeah, look at this, it's a mini Paris. And we should be able to see, as we get a bit further up, hopefully, this amazing chateau Ah, I think that back there was just one branch of the Loire River and now we're coming back over to the second branch. Oh, look at that up there. Wow, magical. Very pretty. It looks so pretty. It, doesn't it just look awesome here? Wow. wow. Yeah, this is more like it. Look at this river. Wow. Oh my God. That's a big river. Oh, there's a lot of medieval style going on here. Look at this. Oh, yes. That's very pretty. That is very pretty. Looks really nice. Whoa, where are we going now? <laughs> I'm just ignoring the GPS and just kind of following wherever the road takes me. Look at this, this is nice. <laughs> oh yeah, look. There's the chateau on the hill. Wow. Another fairy tale chateau. <laughs> oh and look, we're back out at La Loire. Look and there's some like little wooden boats on the river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were actually harder to find than I imagined. <laughs> they just didn't seem to be many vineyards that were on the sort of main road coming through. So we uh, took a back road and there we are. We have seen a vineyard in the Loire Valley. When is the grape season? The grape season is in the autumn. It's unbelievable that these little stems 
we produce so much grapes. Yeah. So many grapes, like it's it's a little bit incredible, no? Yeah. Well, I used to work on vineyards in Australia, and uh, I can see at the moment they're uh, wrapping the. There's like two vines that come out of the main stem. And at the moment they're wrapping them around the wire so that basically they create a wall which will then sprout out and create loads and loads of grapes. <laughs> so you can see at the moment they're just wrapping the, the vine around the wires. And I did that job and you did that job. Did you do wrapping? I did wrapping. Yeah, I did some wrapping as well. You get paid about But 20 not cents. How much? You get paid about 20 cents per vine that you wrap. Okay, I think I got even paid less, like eight cents or something like this. Very ridiculous. Anyway, and I did it for maybe two days and then I gave up on it. Oh yeah, I used to do row after row after row mm -hmm. and get like $80 a day. <laughs> it was not the best pay working there. No. If you're not fast. And that concludes our vineyard tour of the Loire Valley. Thank you everyone for coming. <laughs>156 miles today, which might be a new record. I'm not 100% <laughs> sure, but it might be a new record. But we made it alive and happy, and we will probably spend the next two days here at our friend's place to chill out a little bit, to rest a little bit, because we can feel it in our bodies, definitely. Like, yeah. Ollie has really <laughs> problems in his bum. <laughs> and It's pretty sore. <laughs> I mean, with sort of six hours on the bike yeah you can definitely feel it and 150 miles yesterday we have to take it easy still because it's just day number 11 and our bodies they're still like forming into the bike <laughs> slowly getting so, used to it getting yes, used to it yes anyway thanks so much for watching guys we hope you enjoyed the episode please subscribe to the channel <laughs> and comment below thumbs up and all these things we will see you next time